This is another astonishing UFO sighting. UFO orbs over Mesa, Arizona. Speeding out orbs just as big as that original orb. And you can see this here. It's a still image of that video. It was taken by Carrie Burnett and Doug Mayer recently. This is a December 12th article on Unexplained Mysteries. It, there were a couple from Mesa, Arizona, and they recently recorded the footage. Thank goodness they did, because we can, uh, I'll leave a link below, you can see for yourselves. This is unbelievable. Um, it's not an airplane, obviously, and uh, some people thought it could have been flares. Uh, it's not flares either. First of all, they're spinning orbs. You can see them spinning. And the original orb is spinning out other orbs, which again are spinning, and they're almost the same size. Well, to me, they look to be the, the exact same size as the original orb that was spinning them out. Now, this couple from Mesa recorded the footage of this mysterious object, and it was dropping the glowing orbs over the city. If you see the video before this one on the Kecksburg, Pennsylvania UFO, that was uh, of, uh, a sighting and encounter with ETs that took place in the Pennsylvania in 1965. Someone has crowdfunded uh, to get financed and they made a video, they made a movie on that, a documentary on that. And uh, I did leave, if you see that video that I just made, I did leave a trailer for that. And it's shocking what is being said in the trailer of that movie. And you should see it. Um, now this couple, is showing something similar to what happened over Kecksburg, Pennsylvania in 1965. That that UFO was spitting out metal debris uh, as fireballs from that UFO onto the ground. So this is, to me, what this looks like. I don't know if it's metal debris, but it definitely looks like something uh, spinning, a spinning orb. I don't know what could be spinning like that. Now, um, Doug Meyer said, I love to watch the skies. This is what Carrie Burnett, who watched uh, with her fiancé, Doug Meyer, said. It was a cloudy night and had drizzled off and on. Regular planes had been flying, but since we can see the flight path for the airport, all of a sudden I saw this bright glowing orange light. I thought it was a planet or a star at first, and then I realized, oh, that's close, and it's moving towards us. And you can see that it's not far from them. Now the boom, then boom, it started dropping what looked like orange fireballs or something that traveled for a few seconds before they faded out and disappeared. It's worth noting that there is a military base near the city, but so far neither the Federal Aviation Administration nor the Army National Guard were able to offer any explanation. So it was not them. And it was not a plane, because the planes would have to have their lights on. Those are FAA regulations. Now, some speculate that the object could be an aircraft dropping parachute flares, and that it was part of a military exercise, but Mayer remains unconvinced. He says there were no navigation lights. Even the military has to have navigation lights on at night. That's an FAA rule. I know what I saw. And I don't think it was from here, and I think it was definitely something else. Meaning, of course, that it was uh, unearthly, it was from you know, some other dimension or some other universe, uh, out of here, anyway. So, I'll leave links below for you for this, I'll leave a link for the video of uh, what these mysterious lights were. Please leave a comment, tell me what you think. I definitely think it's not from this world, anyway. This is on Unexplained Mysteries. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.